Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a fall porch makeover. I went by my local garden center recently and they had this big fall display out front and it totally inspired me. I love fall porch decorating anyways, but this display just made me wanna go all out this year. So I got a huge haul of plants here, you can see. I bought a bunch of things. I wasn't even really sure exactly how I was gonna use everything. Um, I just got a lot of mums and some grasses and other things and then a bunch of these beautiful pumpkins which based on the price of these heirloom pumpkins I also then promptly came home and ordered seeds to be able to grow them myself next year and not have to go buy them. All right, now to get on to the project. So I started by just clearing everything off the porch. I have long-term plans for a makeover of this porch, including staining the wood and replacing the lights, and we need to replace our front doors um, and that sort of thing. But obviously that is not happening today. So I'm just gonna take everything off so that I can uh, hose it down, get all the leaves and dirt that's built up as well as goat poop. As you can see, Lottie, joins me for this activity to remind me that this house is really hers. Um, and then I have a, this is a Japanese maple tree that the dogs just destroyed within a few months of being here. And it came back actually, surprisingly fine. And then all of this morning glory vine grew over it. And I thought it was surely strangled out and done for good. But there was a lot of live plant still at the bottom. And my dad has really always wanted a Japanese maple, and I don't know if y'all know, but they are insanely expensive. So we decided that uh, we'd give this, give this one a second chance at life. So I dug up the root ball of this Japanese maple and uh, transplanted it to my parents' yard so that hopefully um, it will come back to life well and do well at their property. I don't know why my dogs seemed to hate this plant so much that they gave it such a hard time this last year, but hopefully it will find a newer and happier life uh, at my folks place. I then also just used the hose to wash the porch and the sidewalk. I didn't film that because I obviously didn't want the camera to get wet and that always seems to happen when I try to film when I'm pressure washing or washing. I just used the hose for this. Um, and then I moved the swing back on. I was actually thinking about rearranging the porch and you'll see that at the end. I did end up rearranging the way things are situated, but I just hosed the porch and the sidewalk there and uh, got as much of the gook off of it as I could. Obviously, that's it's very old brick and stuff, so it's kind of a mess. Um, and uh, pulled up a bunch of weeds that were there. I've got long-term plans for this bed. Um, oh, and I also washed the rugs that go, you know, just with the hose, just sprayed them down. And then I used the tractor to load everything back onto the trailer bed and then use the tractor to pull it over so I didn't have to carry all this stuff, you know, all the way from the garage over here to the front of the house. Um, so that was handy dandy. Tractor comes in use yet again, and you know me, I'm always looking for an excuse to drive the tractor. So I, like I said, I had no idea really what I was gonna do here. Um, so I just kind of pulled everything out where I could see it and sort of separated it a little bit by, you know, type of plant and whether it was something that, you know, would vine or, you know, grow tall and that sort of thing so I could figure out height and all of that. So. I just pulled everything out and set it out so I could uh, get some ideas. You may keep those things from me you stole. You know me, I cashed out long ago. Out of any fucking control, careful with the highlight. And then once I had my plan kind of in my head, I just started planting things, moving them into pots. I just put all of the mums into pots instead of planting anything in the ground as far as the mums go. Um, so I just moved all of those into pots and just kind of started uh, planting things around where I wanted them to go. I didn't end up filming a ton of this part um, just because it was so hot and the camera kept overheating and I couldn't find shady spots to keep it to film, but uh, this is basically all I did was move mums to pots and then place things and place pumpkins and this is the final result. Maybe we'll make the millions or have ourselves 
Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our fall porch makeover. I love it. Now all I want to do is sit out here and drink my coffee and hang out and all the fall goodness, even though it's still hot. I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye. So I don't mean Fred and Nancy. Oh, what I love.